Our next video is going to cover taking attendance and Power Teacher Pro gives you a lot of options on how you can go about taking attendance. The first thing you're probably going to need to do though is find your class list for attendance and to do that instead of worrying about all these things over here just click on the very top left where it says Power Teacher Pro. From there you get your classes to choose from and you've got three different buttons you can click on to take attendance. You can click on the chair, you can click on the grid, or you can click on the grid with the chair. And all three buttons will take you to a place you can take attendance from. If you like calling roll, which you want to sit there and do Bueller, Bueller all day long, well then, yeah, you can click on the chair. That works for you, go for it. And that's going to bring you up to the single day view. And you notice all these are currently blank right now. If it is blank, it is present. In fact, if you click on one, you're going to see it defaults to present. And then from there, you can click on the down arrow and you can take and select whatever else you want. Now, I'm going to show you something else cool. Let's say Fabian here is tardy. So we're going to click the tardy. And now you've got a comment box that just popped up here. We can take that comment box and click on it, and we can actually write in a comment there about why we marked Fabian Tardy that day. That is one of the most awesome advantages about using Power Teacher Pro and Power School over when we had iNow, because it takes and allows you to leave a little, what we'll call it a memory cue on why you did something or why you, you need marked the child a certain way. That way if mama comes back saying why was he marked tardy or the principal wants to know why he was tardy this time, you got all the information right there and it makes a real quick simple little reference. Uh, this is not something that's being required but if you're old and forgetful like me, it is a wonderful thing to have. Now, Another option is to take and go, let's go back in here and we're going to click on the chart. I'm going to hit leave here because I did not submit. If I click on the chart, it's going to take me to the multi-day view. And this one is going to be set up to where, oops, I clicked on the wrong class, sorry. Click on this chart. I'm going to click on the multi-day view. And this one's going to set, be set up for a high school where they have A and B days. The grade out days are days you can't take attendance on. The days that are not grayed out are the days you can take attendance on. A nice part about this is once you get further down into the year, you'll be able to see a pattern of who's been here and who's not. Once again, all you have to do is click on it and then you can take and put the information that you want on um, what you have here. So I have tardy, but notice going this way, there's no comment box. You cannot put in a comment from this way um, to explain why that student was tardy. Once you get your attendance done, of course, you're going to hit the submit button right here, and that will forward the attendance on up to the office. Now, the next thing I want to show you is the seating chart one. And this is my favorite way of doing it. So for the seating chart one here, I believe I made a seating chart for that class. Let's go to, there it is, reach to seating chart. And we've already talked about this before. Let's make that a little smaller. All you have to do is click on the student and say, boop, student's tardy. And look, you get a comment box right here for Fabian once again. So you can take and write in what Fabian was doing or why Fabian said he was late and the reason you marked him tardy. Three real quick, simple ways to move around. Now, I'm going to show you something else. Remember the um, three things we had? Once you're inside of it, you can just click on the tab. You want to see single day? Boom. And we're going to hit, um, do I want to save changes? No. So click on single day, and there's your single day view. You want to click multi day, and here's going to be your multi day view. You want to click the seating chart attendance and there's the seating chart attendant. So once you're inside of it, you will be able to move from one format to the another at the click of a button. Now, another issue I have sometimes is when Ms. Osborne calls down and says, Mr. Reach, will you please put your attendance in? And I'll say, uh, I thought I did. Well, guess what, I didn't. And you will always be able to know if your attendance is done because this little circle here will turn a real pretty shade of green. And that's your clue to know that you have actually taken sub attendance for that class when you're um, when it's green there. That is it for attendance. We've got some other cool things to go over in the future. I hope you find this useful. Let me know if you have any questions.